So you might be in a situation, for some reason, your particular iPhone is giving you this little pop-up or your iPad that tells you that, sorry, this page cannot be open on your particular Safari browser because there's because it's basically not connected to the internet. Now, this type of pop-up can happen for a lot of different reasons. The very first thing I'd recommend doing, though, for the most part, is just make sure you read this properly and carefully because it's basically telling you what the error is. You're basically not having any internet on your device, and that is basically the problem that you're running into. So what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your particular iPhone settings. So up inside of your settings application, which is right here, and then you'll basically come into this page. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you want to basically scroll down until you see your Wi-Fi connection or your cell connection options. So click into Wi-Fi and here at this little panel, what it's going to do, it's going to show you all the little Wi-Fi connections that are around you. Or if you have a cell connection, just make sure you're in an area that has good signal. As long as you're in an area that has good signal or in an area that has basically like Wi-Fi, then you should be good to go for the most part. And you can just try reloading the page. So go back into Safari, try reloading the page, and you want to see if it ends up loading. Now you can see I still get this pop-up because I don't have any internet. So that's the problem I'm running into. If I just update my internet, it's going to work. Now, if that's still not working or if I'm still getting issues, another thing you may want to try doing is making sure that the website you're trying to go to is actually a real website that's accessible. Sometimes you might be going to a website that is weird or that it does not support it on an iPhone or it's no longer in service. So that's another problem. You just want to make sure that the website that you're going to is properly in service and that it's you know still around and still a working website. And that's another thing you can do to end up fixing the problem as well. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, another thing you may want to try doing is to restart your iPhone. So hold down the buttons you normally would to restart your iPhone, the volume up and power button, slide the power off. You want to see if that ends up working as well. If that's still not working, you can try checking a different Wi-Fi connection, checking different websites. But usually by this point, you should probably have it figured out by now. So those are the main ways to fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.